What's going on, everybody? Thanks for giving another video today. Welcome to Arthur's Last Ride Part 2. Probably going to be a little more parts to this, maybe. If not, then this is Part 2. The ending, probably. Thank you for the overwhelming support on this entire series. Uh, and uh, last episode, we got into war with the, Indian, with the Indians, not against them. And we, the Indian son lost. Well, at least you ain't run off. What do you want, Dutch? You freaking betrayed us and left us, and now you got some ridiculous plan? What you talking about? Pearson left? Told Uncle? The traitors? Both gone at dawn. They said young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna... This is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then yeah, maybe we can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more and train. And I'm a goddamn train. Arthur! There's only just this one more freaking thing with you. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, I ain't got much to lose, but you gotta do what's right and cut some loose. John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John. Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will see to it. Huh? Now. Are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Let's go! Yeah! There it is. <laughs> I 
get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm uh. fine. Okay, it's in the back. Like I said, it's in the back of the wagon. You got it! Alright, let's get this done. Come on, the train's on its way. You think this is gonna work? Who knows? I don't trust nothing no more. Look at that mess in the oil factory. I swear he looked me in the eye and walked away. Like with me in the bank. But listen, Abigail just told me the money is hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Okay, well... Let's get through this job and make a plan. Get the money and get the hell out of here. You, Abigail, and Jack go live your life. And you? I reckon head out west, someplace dry. See if I can sing this goddamn cough. First, we got one last train, John. One last train. they stop the train. 
Here she comes. Hopping on the thing like that. Look behind you, they fell off.
fucking battery. I'm gonna charge my junk, man. Alright, let's go. I'm freaking finally charge it. Charge it back up with battery. <laughs> it sounds just like a shower when you spray it. Get off the door. We need to go for the money. Come on. Money should be in the front chair. Hey, quick. Let's pull up on Let's go. The money's in there. And then it crashed. Jesus. We're alive, it's just about. Well, let's move. Really make it. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. If one of the patrol turns up. This is probably going to be extra long for you guys. Yup, this is it. Red Dead Redemption. This is it. This is the ending of Arthur Morgan. Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's a... Well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. We just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It ain't like that. It's what is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Fucking can't, man. Let's just... Well, I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Hey, take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack. You wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. Just get out of here and go live your life. This is done. All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Nah, nah don't start with all that. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler, ride with me. <laughs> 
If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. Oh. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. All them years. It's gonna be all right. We're gonna get Abigail out. Of course we are. Because we don't leave our own behind. That's what Dutch taught us. Well, seems his mind got changed on that idea. I remember one time, years ago, he let fly at me for robbing this house. Saying, that man was too poor. Now, taking from him was no different from the system we was fighting against. Now, he don't care who dies, so long as he and Micah get rich off of him. Micah's a goddamn sickness. But, John said, Abigail knows where the money's hidden. If we can get to her in time, we might be able to get to it before they do. <coughs> Let's just get her out first. You say it? Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. Now, John, we have to put an end to this. <laughs> and Eagle Flies, another angry young fool he used, just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together what's left of it. Now come on! Okay, here we are. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? Dying. Okay. No, he's dying. Stop saying you're okay. He's dying. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Because you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Let's go. Mr. 
And she died. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like soon. Scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when your boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Hard drugs, we're pretty much in that here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Hit like, comment, subscribe if you want to see part three. Here we go. We need to get 